a psychopathic one here. I'm going to do the next installment in the um, guinea pig franchise from my for my unearthing the gore series. Now these ones are comedies. Um, black, dark, gory comedies. Um, uh, so we'll start with the third one because I already did Flower of Flesh and Blood and Guinea Pig. So, um, what we got is for the third installment, it's called He Never Dies, or The Man That Wouldn't Die. It goes by uh, several different titles. But it's about this guy. He's he's down on his luck. He's he's just not feeling like himself anymore. He doesn't feel happy. His girlfriend's cheating on him with his best friend. And he decides, you know what? I've got nothing to live for. He ends up taking a um. A little table knife and he sh he tries to commit suicide so he slices his wrist and he's bleeding and his hands just moving around like like a sponge pretty much and all of a sudden the blood just stops and uh, he's like why am I not dying so he cuts his other uh, wrist too and he realizes, oh my gosh, I can't die. And so, pretty much uh, the whole movie from that point on is, it's a gag reel of gore. Um, he pretty much gets back at uh, the people who uh, he didn't like, who didn't like him. Um, and uh, how he gets back at them is, his best friend like comes inside with an Elvis Presley mask of all things. Well, never thought I'd see that in a horror movie. Uh, but anyways, um, he's got an, some alcohol, and then all of a sudden you see the main character guy, the man who never dies, with a ruler compass. I think that's what they're called. Uh, um stuck into his head he's got a knife inside his head and he's got a, a sliced throat and he's ripping out all of his intestines and it's a great practical shot and uh, he's scaring the crap out of his best friend and uh, the friend has some of the funniest uh, <laughs> screams I've ever heard uh, in a in a comedy film, gory comedy film. <clears throat> um, so, uh, her, not her, his girlfriend ends up coming by, and instead of uh, uh, worrying about like, uh, oh my gosh, what did you do? Like, uh, uh, you're uh, you're not dead. Uh, we should uh, get you help. Instead, she says, oh my god, what a mess you made. And, like, all of his body parts are all over the uh, living room. And uh, his head is on the table, and it's just talking to her, to her. And it's just a severed head. And that's how it ends. But this one was fun. Um, as a comedy, I give it an, a 7 out of 10. As a horror film... 1 out of 10 because there's really nothing to it other than the gore and the gore is done for uh, humor and not like shocking horror and so what I'd give it is a 7 out of 10 um, now we go on to Devil Doctor Woman aka Guinea Pig 4 so, this one's pretty much like a sketch comedy show. A Japanese sketch comedy show. So, imagine what Japanese humor is like and you'll uh, feel right at home if you like Japanese humor. I thought it was hilarious. Um, 
pretty much uh, the Devil Doctor woman is played by a cross dresser uh, by the name of Peter. Um, and uh, he, she uh, pretty much uh, does experiments on different people. Like try to get them back into society and find a worthy place for them in society. And... Like, there's one guy who his guts end up falling out, and uh, they end up falling, following a person home. Um, and it just keeps on splashing all across the door and everything, and I'm just like, what the hell? And then, you got uh, another scene where a guy has a growth on his stomach, and it happens to be a face. So, what he, what uh, the Devil Doctor woman does is turns him into uh, like a street performer and then there's this one I just thought was gross and stupid um, a turd that talks I'm just thinking to myself like what in the heck okay um, and then uh, there's a, a family of tele telekinetics um pretty much uh the father has telekinesis and every time he gets angry a person's head explodes in in their family so every time one of them gets angry their heads explode and uh it's got dark humor and the, uh there definitely because like even the baby ends up uh having its head explode but you don't see the actual baby thankfully but Double Doctor Woman, as a comedy, I give it an 8 out of 10. Funnier than He Never Dies, but not by much because they're both pretty hilarious. Um, they, these are probably going to be my shortest ones because these ones were meant solely for comedy. And they are gory. Do not get me wrong. For a comedies, these are some gory films. Um, and... Uh, when you're into guinea pig films, like, you're either gonna go for the gore, you're either gonna go for, uh, the shock value, or you're going to go, uh, for the realism. And, uh, the thing about three and four, they weren't realistic. They were just for fun. So, there's a small little middle ground with three and four, which just for fun. So anyways, this is Psychopathic One, signing off. Catch y'all next time.